Hello YouTube, in this video I will walk you through one of the most interesting launcher for the Android. Surprisingly, it is actually from the Microsoft and the launcher name is Microsoft Launcher and you will be able to download this launcher from Play Store for free. They have recently updated their launcher with a lot of features. So I will give you a glimpse of all these features. First of all, this is a very convenient feature rich launcher. So this is the main screen and left you will be able to find this feed. There will be a lot of feeds you can add and customize. So let's start with the main screen and here is the search bar. If you swipe down then also you will get the search bar, local search. And then here on top you can find a QR code scanner. So you will be able to scan QR code from here without uh, need of any third party application which is really good. And here you can search using voice. And on top you have this calendar as well as alarm and then weather and if you want to add more cities you can go to settings menu change the temperature unit as well as you can add any cities so you'll be getting the details about that so it's pretty neat and here you have an icon called wallpaper if you click on here it will be fetching a new wallpaper from the Bing online so you can keep on clicking on and then the wallpaper will be changing and here an option to directly go to the launcher settings and down below you can find all these icons and if you swipe up from here you'll be able to get this control center here it will be showing extra icons there and if you swipe up again then you will be able to go to hidden application if you are setting up any pin code for that and clicking here it will open the launcher settings and other applications are there as well as there's these toggles will be so that is there for the main screen and then if you swipe here left so you'll be able to see these feeds and here on top you'll be uh, able to log into the, your profile that is the Microsoft account and here you will be able to see the recent activities recent activities like uh, taking a screenshot so here are some of my screenshots and then here you will be find uh, all the recent things that I've called I've got call and then I've uh, installed new application new video everything will be there and down below you can find the frequently used apps so you can find all these apps that i frequently used and then up people information and you'll be having many more feeds that you can add customize you can add calendar news and if you want to remove it swipe it and then just remove this card so it will go just like that we have the to-do list notes and then even documents and if you want to customize and add more widgets then click on widgets so you'll be able to add any widgets from the application install and that's all about the feeds and if you want to add any feed as a page you can click here and then pin to a new page if you click that one so uh, there will be a new page created here with the frequently used apps so that's all for the screen here so let's go to the menu so this is the menu it's vertical if you want to change to horizontal layout you can do that by simply typing here and then hide recent apps so you won't be showing this recent apps on top here besides that here is a hide apps so you can give your passcode here and then click on any hide apps and then select any apps that you want so once that is done go back so you won't be able to find that app here but instead Can go to hide apps and then type the password and then open it otherwise you can just swipe it here and then here again then you can go ahead and open it so you'll be open able to open that application so let's go ahead and check out the launcher settings option so here you can change the wallpaper and this is the account section and then you can also backup and restore your microsoft launcher to the cloud and here is the, you have the customization option you can change the themes from the dark to light to transparent then you can also customize the app icon layout and app folder names vertical scrolling keeps if you don't want the status bar you can click here and then the status bar will go up so we'll get the complete screen here I'll keep this um, status bar notification badges lock home screen hidden apps high performance mode so all the animations will be disabled I prefer having a little animation so you will get this kind of small animations then we have this feed settings so if you don't want the feed you can turn it off 
So in the left panel there won't be any field. And then you can change the recent settings. To do settings, uh, use interest and you can configure each and every aspect of that feed from there. You can uh, specify the default SMS app as well as dialer app. And then the gesture, you can customize all these gesture options. So you will be getting a lot of controls over here. And then in the search, the default search engine is Bing and you definitely you can change that to Google and you will get a lot of settings here as well. And in the general settings, that is the language and then 24 hour clock. And there is one more interesting feature about this launcher, which is that you'll be able to send all the files on your phone to your PC, Windows 8 PCs, directly from the phone. So for example, if I want to send this gallery file, then if you tap and hold, it will show this continue on PC option. So if you tap on that one, it will find all the devices which are connected using your Microsoft account that was linked to this launcher. And for example, if you have a PC, and you have logged in using your Microsoft account, it will show here and you can tap on that PC and you will be able to send that file directly to that PC. You can do the same with uh, any files you see on this launcher. And this is a really interesting feature and it works very well. As far as I'm concerned, I'm really impressed with the quality and the convenience of using this launcher. And I really like the Microsoft's take on all their Android applications with high quality. And in the next video, I will be reviewing their SMS organizer application and it is the best application for the SMS. And I will upload its video soon. So please keep subscribed. Thanks for watching.